Every rebellion that I've ever heard of has its uh, soldiers of fortune. People were, were uh, going out looking for a good fight and getting into it, sometimes in the hope of pay and sometimes just for the heck of the thing. American mercenaries are on the move, and the producers of Soldiers of Fortune are there with them. Devoted to warfare, today's military adventurers reveal why they fight and for whom in never-before-seen footage. A startling expose, Soldiers of Fortune takes aim at the American mercenary network and scores a direct hit. I like the action of the fight and the adrenaline pumping. It's, it's almost like a high. It's my own personal reward. It's what I do best. I'd like to go where, wherever the action is, wherever the money's at. I, I like to fight. I want to fight. No! It's a school where we train people for foreign operations, for mercenary operations overseas. We have a good reputation with the different governments, with the different free world governments. We stick to patrol, we stick to ambush, uh, counter ambush, sniper training, prisoner taking, which is a marketable skill. At about this time, the Council for the Liberation of Suriname had contacted me through some government sources and uh, asked me to come to Europe to meet with them and discuss training some Surinamese refugees uh, and ultimately leading them into battle to reclaim their homeland. Took us from the jungle into Tegucigalpa and they wouldn't let us off the airplane or off that airport until the embassy picked us up and took us right to the embassy. Uh, no. No, and if I had experience with the CIA, I wouldn't say so. I have no relationship with the uh, CIA. I think probably the Bureau, like any other um, agency, will take help wherever they can get it. 